We've been spending a lot of time in tray right and tray left um, for five on five purposes, but we are going to start uh, most of our camp stuff in the ace right tight. And a couple of reasons for this, I think the, the first run concept that we want to get in is the outside zone and outside zone read run concept. So <clears throat> you'll kind of see that reflected in the playlist that we go through, but I'm going to walk uh, everybody through these first 10 plays that we'll install. This will probably be Monday and Tuesday. Maybe we'll get it done a little faster than that, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, and then we'll finish up the week with some Trey Wright and, uh, you know, look at a couple of different formations. Okay, so to begin with, you know, especially for you young guys. So uh, whenever you look at the playbook, this ace right tight, this is our formation. So ace means one back, which is our quarterback. Right is the location of the tight end. Tight is the location of the super back. He is tight to the formation. And then when we get into the yellow jet or yellow 37 jet read. So let me explain a couple of things. So first of all, yellow, this is the direction of motion. And it's to the left. Okay, So you can see that our motion is to the left. 37, so our backs are numbered 1, 2, 3. So the Z back here is the 3 back. So 37, jet Jet is the direction or type of motion. So jets, jets go, uh, well, rockets go in orbit. Jets do not. So jet motion is in front of the quarterback, and it's fast. Okay? And then, of course, the most important word here is the word read. Okay? And this is important for our offensive linemen because anytime we see the word read, we are going to not block the play side linebacker, in this case, the Willie. Okay? So the breakdown of this play is the quarterback is going to use his foot because it's fast, foot for fast. He's going to use his foot to put the Z in motion. He wants to snap the ball when the Z is just about to the tight end. He's going to receive the snap. He's going to slide while reading the Willie to see if the willy, if the willy runs with the motion, he's going to replace the willy. If the willy sits and looks at him, he's going to hand the ball to the Z back. The super back is responsible for the end man on the line of scrimmage. Our guard and center are going to take care of whatever A gap defender we have. The backside guard is going to reach the Mike linebacker and the tight end is going to cut off the backside defensive end. Now, what we'd like is to get our, our X's, you know, to work inside and get this boundary corner uh, blocked. Okay, so the first play that we will install will be ace right tight, yellow, 37 jet read. Ace right tight, yellow, 37 jet read. Okay, off of that. And you can see same formation, all those things. We're still in ace right tight. That's our formation. We still have the same direction of motion. That's yellow. Uh, we're still the same kind of motion. That's jet. Okay. But now we're going to run a different kind of play. This play is the 11 lead. And lead is the word here. So lead or ISO, they're, they're the same sort of thing. So anytime we have a lead... That means we are sending a back to the backer. That's what lead means, or back to the backer. Okay, so we're going to kick out that defensive end. We're going to cut off the A-gap defender. We're going to cut off the backside, and our super back is going to work up in here, and we're going to run off of his block. So, Again, we want to snap the ball about the same position. We want to shuffle step as if we were reading that backer, but this time we know we're keeping the ball and we are going to work off that block that is provided by the super back. Everything else is basically the same. Okay, third play is the slip screen action off of this. Now, this, is, this has always been a really good play for us. Okay, so you can see here we are, ace right tight. Okay, Oop, let me change that. 
acerite tight. Okay, same direction of motion, yellow, same type of motion, jet. But now we have a new word in here, this word being bob. And this word bob means big on big. It is our protection call. That means everybody with their hand down is blocking somebody else at the first level. These big defenders, first level defenders, they're responsible for them. Okay? Now, as a quarterback, what we want to do on this play, so again, we're snapping the ball at about the same time. We're going to snap it here. Oops, let me change pin colors. We're going to snap it in here. We're going to fake the ball to the Z, but now we're going to get a drop. And 50 means, you know, or 35, we want to get to this five-yard depth. That's kind of a minimum, okay? So we're at three. We want to get to five. So that's catch, shuffle, set, get ready to throw. Now, our first look should always be at this safety because what I think typically happens is this safety rotates. And one thing's going to happen with the safety. He's either going to rotate and he's going to pick up this post or he's going to pick up this crosser. And so we're looking at the safety. and We're either going to throw this post, number one, or this crosser, number two. That's typically where the ball goes. Every now and then, if we get a team that, that doesn't have very athletic guys, particularly as their linebackers, we really like to release the super back over here and kind of get him going. Or if we get a team that rotates this corner way up top, we like that look. Okay, But, but typically, we're trying to throw this thing right down the middle. And we're, we're going to either throw it under the safety or over the safety's head, depending on where he goes. Okay? So ace right tight, yellow jet, 35 bob, slip screen. Now, here we go. We, we have the same formation. So ace right tight. Nope, I'm back to a pin. So ace right tight, yellow, so same direction, yellow. But this time we have rocket. Okay? And rocket... Rockets go in orbit. So this is our orbit motion. So this is a 37. So again, here's our three back. And okay, he's right here. Three back to the seven hole. Okay, so we would have one, three, five, seven. Seven's really wide. Okay, so we want to toss that thing. So this time we want to snap it with this guy a little closer to us. And we want that because as he goes in orbit, we want to catch the snap, but we want to toss it to him clear out here. We really want to put a lot of strain on the defense with this toss action. Okay, so we want everything moving super fast. Now, this term jet in here is still in there because that's, that's our blocking scheme. So that's outside zone. Everybody is stepping and reaching and stepping and reaching, and we're cutting everything off. Of course, we've got this block on the boundary corner, uh, you know, and we will have some things for if this guy starts cheating in on our motion, you know, some things to take care of that. But uh, in the meantime, you know, we want to toss that ball wide. We want to run really fast and we want to get outside and get vertical. Okay, Again, we expect this safety to kind of rotate over the top, you know, and, and to give us this deal where we're going to beat that safety one-on-one -on -one out here in space. Okay, the next play. All right, so if we break it down, you know, ace ride tight, same formation. Yellow, same direction. Rocket, same kind of motion. This time we're going to, again, we're going to let this guy get in here. We're going to pivot as if we were tossing this ball out here but we are going to run the trap backside. Now, this is a hard one for the quarterback because he's got to pivot and he's got to fall back inside that guard, okay? So the guard's going to pull. Now, a couple things that are really important. This super back always has to replace the pulling guard, okay? So if that guard pulls, you've got to cut that defensive end. Now, the, all this eye candy out here should help that, make that block a little easier, okay? Okay. We aren't really blocking the willy. You know, we're, we're focusing on this double team and hoping to chip up to the willy. You know, we want to kind of let this guy work himself in here and the tight end kind of, 
you know, mash him down. And then, you know, we want this guy. Now, quarterbacks, you know, be aware that this guy is going to squeeze and we're going to have this alley right in here where we actually run the ball back this way. I think what happens to us is a lot of times we get in the habit of trying to get this thing too vertical and we really just need to follow our guard and cut off of his block. Okay, so that is the toss action trap, the toss action trap. Okay, now probably my favorite play uh, of all of these is the waggle. Okay, and you'll see that we have some rules and you'll see this a lot in the next few slides, but we want to throw away from the safety. So we're going to locate this safety player. Okay, now we expect that he's either going to line up over here. That's the way some teams line up in two by two, which I think is a little bit silly. And you'll see here in a minute that we have some ways to attack that. But, you know, if they line up here, we expect this guy to rotate over to here. Now, when he rotates, okay, if he rotates away from the tight end, then that this is our high-low read. We're going to come back to this side because the safety is over here. We're going to come back to this side. If the corner is deep, we're going to throw it short. If the corner is short, we're going to throw it deep. Okay, and we're going to have one, one easy read. Now, if the safety doesn't move, okay, if he's over here, then we want to throw it over his head on this backside post. And I will tell you that, you know, we'll run toss a few times and, you know, we'll get this reaction where this safety is coming clear here. And if we see that safety chasing that toss action, we're immediately throwing it down the middle. This is the easiest throw we can make and the most sure touchdown we can get. OK, uh, our tight ends, they need to kind of release and look at this linebacker and then work their way out. We want them to be about 15 yards deep. You know when they're when they're coming over where the the cornerback is located, and and again he's gonna kind of move in here, so you know should be about 15 yards over, you know 15 yards deep over that corner alignment, okay, and then again the super back on your way out we need to get a good chip. We do have Bob protection that's big on big, but we need to get a chip and release to the flat, and uh, you know it's been a pretty good play for us, okay. Uh, we'll run the read play a couple of different ways out of this. We can run it to the right. So again, if we go through the anatomy of the play, we have ace right tight. This time it's red motion, red meaning to the right. Okay, but because this guy is already attached, he's already in the position. It's just the direction of his flow. Okay, we're not actually putting him in motion okay, because... This is our snap, you know, indicator for those jets anyway. He's in the tight end position. There's no need to put him in motion. Okay, so two back to the eight hole. Okay, so two, four, six, eight being out here wide. Okay, jet read. And again, we're going to read that play side linebacker. So we want to get, you know, a double and kind of block back. It's a zone play. So everybody's kind of moving that direction except for the play side guard. And, and again, quarterback's going to read, shuffle, and away we go. Okay. Now, again, here's that concept where we're going to throw away from the safety. Okay. And again, you know, if we're playing Madison, Madison's going to put their safety right here, and they're going to ask their Mike linebacker, which this guy's drawn in the wrong spot, to kind of cover this tight end. And, and I think that that is something – that we should be able to win, particularly with this run action in here. So this run action in here. So we're going to get, you know, a block and a block and a block because we're in Bob. And then we're going to get out here and we're going to get vertical. And if the safety is on the backside, we're throwing it right here. If the safety is on the tight end side, we're throwing, you know, kind of the, uh, the post right behind him. Okay, so we want to throw away from the safety. Okay, now, this concept, and after our first night of five-on-five, five, when I talked to the quarterbacks, you know, particularly Wyatt, he's like, well, 
you know, two by two would probably be a better set. And, and I thought two by two would be a better set for him because we could cut the field in half. And again, we're, we're just trying to locate this safety. Okay, this is what we call a smash concept. Now by smash concept, that means we're running, you know, we're running a stop out here. And this is, you know, somewhere like seven to nine yards. Okay, and we're running the smash over the top, but we want this guy to be, you know, 15 to 17 yards. And this is right over the top of each other. So we need something like, you know, eight to 10 yards of separation between those two because we want that corner to have to make a decision. Is he deep or is he short? You know, particularly if this, you know, if the safety's over here, we're just gonna look the backside. This is our indicator. Where is he at? We're gonna throw it away from him. If the safety's away, we'll run the same concept to the other side. Okay, so ace right, tight, 50 bob, smash. 50 bob, 50, okay, quarterback's gonna be right in the middle here going to get a five step drop a get a good deep drop take a good long look find the 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 side that the safety is away from and you know throw a touchdown okay and then the same concept here this is ace right tight 50 bob outs okay and again we want to throw away we're going to throw away from the safety okay and you know, I don't know, for whatever reason, my Willie, Willie would be here. My Mike would be here. We'll go ahead and leave the safety where he's at. Okay? But, you know, if the safety is over here, then we know that we're throwing this out against the Willie. Okay. And we're, you know, we've got post over the top and out. We want to throw one of these two routes. Okay. And, and again, it's an easy read for us. We drop back. This Willie comes in here, and he's kind of a wall player. This guy drops off, touchdown, okay? This corner runs with him. The Willie is in pursuit. We throw it out here, touchdown, okay? So we're just looking for that kind of post, you know, wheel combo away from the safety. And here's the deal. If the safety happens to be on this side, then this needs to be the post wheel combination. Okay, so we're running that post wheel away from the safety. So everybody needs to understand where the safety is at because that's going to determine, you know, which side is the post wheel, the right or the left. Okay, so that's it for, uh, for the first week or the first couple of days. We'll go through these. If you watch the video, you'll kind of have a head start. And uh, yeah, let's have some fun.